with that, let's go ahead and try things out, my party people. So I already highlighted the question here. Again, we want to start with the question. What is its perimeter? Everybody, is there a word in that red highlight that would make you say, oh, that's a big clue. In that red highlight, what's the one word in there that's just a, the biggest clue you could ever ask for? Perimeter, 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 formula, perimeter, perimeter. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Looks like we have spotted the elephant in the room and cool. Now, just because you can spot a keyword doesn't mean that, hey, it's all kumbaya. No, it just means that, hey, we have a lead here. And remember, when it's in the question sentence, that's a pretty big lead. So right here, we say, hey, what is its perimeter? Now, I'll be very straightforward with y'all. Can anybody tell me what perimeter is? What's perimeter? Let's just double check. Let's make sure. What is perimeter? All right, let's see some of these answers here. We have adding, we have area, we have border, we have around the shape. It's the around part, around the shape, the distance around, around the whole. Exactly. Exactly. We're talking about the distance around the shape. If it's a circle, that's what it would look like, but it's called circumference. You could have a square, rectangle, triangle, pentagon, parallelogram, whatever you want. But perimeter, no matter what the shape is, is the distance around it. So can anybody tell me what shape we're dealing with in this question? Rectangle. That's correct. Right over here, guys. Really, really quick MazMed party people. While we continue this video, if you're enjoying it, which at this point, if you're watching, I know you are, please remember to like this video, comment your favorite part, and subscribe to the channel. That way you can help us spread the word about helping people raise their ASVAB scores just like we are. Let's keep getting the job done. Let's get back to the video. Appreciate you. The first, the, the second word, excuse me, is rectangular. A rectangular window pane covers blah, 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 blah. If it is three feet wide, blah, blah, whatever. But we saw the shape there. Notice how I'm being inquisitive and taking it step by step. I don't care about those numbers. I don't care about those numbers yet. All I care about is how can I get to perimeter? And I need to know the shape that I'm dealing with because everybody, if I'm being asked to find the perimeter of a rectangle, is there a formula for that? It is. Okay, cool. Can anybody spit that formula out for me in the chat box? I would really appreciate that, right? Go ahead, please. Right, okay, great. So, Ricardo, Kai, thank you. P equals 2L plus 2W. Damien, thank you. For someone who hates geometry, you know your formula. So, with that, let's write that down. The perimeter is what we're looking for, and we have 2L plus 2W. Cool. And so if you're having trouble memorizing formulas, I mean, the best way that I can go about it is, hey, make flashcards and review them, review them, review them, review them, review them, and then use them, use them, use them, and use them. If you're in the program already with me, you're going to see that the sections that have formulas typically will have a section at the top titled flashcards, and then you get into using them all day. So with that, everybody, can anybody tell me in this formula right over here? What does the L stand for? What does the W stand for? What does that mean again? Just help us warm up here. What is the L? What is the W? Oh, length and width. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let's go ahead and make sure that that's known. So over here, it really doesn't matter which one you choose, but I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm going to say this is the length and this is the width. Now, as always, I want to do you guys a service. If anybody here is wondering again, same old question, how do I memorize these formulas? How do I make sure I don't blank out on the test? The last thing we want to do is blank out on the test. You have to know how the formula is built. Knowing why the formula is the way it is, is generally a very good thing to do if you want to memorize something or commit it to memory. So here's what I mean. Notice how we have 2L and 2W, not just L plus W, 2L plus 2W. Where that comes from is just the shape itself. When you check out a rectangle, you don't just have one length. You have the length at the bottom, and it's the same thing up top. That's where the 2L comes from because you're adding up 
two of those lengths, the top and the bottom. Same thing for the width. Everyone, if this is labeled width on the right side, what other side is gonna be labeled with the width? Help me out there. Absolutely, the left side. And so again, understanding where and why these formulas make sense, again, it goes a long way to memorizing it and committing it to memory. We have over here, two of these lengths, two of these widths, and when you add it all together, two lengths plus two widths. Does that make a little more sense for anybody here who's having a little trouble with this specific formula? Good, good. So with that, let's go ahead and see what we gotta do. Everyone, we already said it, the perimeter formula, again, what we're looking for in this problem, it means we have to plug in whatever the length is, plug in whatever the width is, and boom, we'll be good. So let's see if we can sort through the information here and find what the length is and what the width is. Let's read. So now we're gonna gather our information. Now we're in the second step. A rectangular window pane covers 15 square feet on its surface. Everybody, quick question. Is that gonna be the length or the width, the 15 square feet on its surface? What's that gonna be, the length or the width? Let's see. Interesting. We have all but two people here saying that now we have three, four disagreeing with length or width. And they're correct. This is actually the area. This right here in blue, that's area. There are a couple of things that give it away. If we're talking about length or width or height, we're going to have those units just be regular old feet. It's just going to be three feet, four feet, five feet, 25 feet, 15 feet, not 15 square feet. When we're talking about square feet, that word right there, that is representing area. And another way that we can tell, we're covering the window. Again, if you're talking about the length or width or height, you're talking about its sides. When we're talking about area, we're talking about the space covered by the shape. And they give you clues to tell you that. We have covers, square feet, and on its surface. Three big clues letting you know that that's not either length or width or perimeter, that is specifically area. So, so far before I continue, are we in agreement that the 15 given to us here, that is area? Okay, good. Sounds good. So with that said, let's move forward and let's see if we have any information here. Because again, don't get distracted. We want the length and we want the width. We need both of these to be successful here. We have to plug both of those in to be successful. We need those. So let's keep reading. It says, if it is three feet wide, everybody, what's that gonna be? Three feet wide, what can we attribute that to? What can we attribute that to? Right we can attribute that to the width. And so that's what we'll do. So let's highlight that right here. Three feet wide, perfect. So my width equals three. But everybody, we have just gone through all of the information. Where might someone get frustrated at this point in the problem? Where might someone get frustrated with where we are right now? Let's think like a teacher here. Right, Olivia, exactly. That's a very honest, straightforward, and true response. Most people will get frustrated with finding the length. Do you see that, everybody? How the problem tells you find perimeter, but it doesn't give you all of the ingredients of the formula. It didn't give you all of the ingredients. You don't have the length. And you know what the common mistake that most people will make here is? Who wants to guess? Who wants to guess? And I'll give, a, I'll give an ASVAB shorter way to someone who guesses this correctly. What, at this point in the problem, what is the most common mistake that someone might, Damien, correct. They might go ahead and hope and assume that that 15 that we have up here, they're going to be so desperate to find an answer that they might take that 15 and just plug it in as the length. Yeah, that's, that's what people will do. So Damien, congratulations, I already have your phone number. Shoot me a text reminding me. I'll get your information and I'll ship you a shirt for free. I got you. So congratulations on that, man. But yes, 
that's the number one issue that people will face, not trusting what is true and going with their hopes and guts and whatever the heck might lead them in the wrong direction. Again, this is math, this is logic, there's truth to it, learn it. So, finally, <laughs> so with that, hey, you paid attention and you won. So here's what we're gonna do, everybody. We're at this point, we need length, we've already talked about that. Now the question is, detour, how can I find the length given what I have? It's not gonna be right here, nope. We're gonna have to look at the other piece of information that we're given, right there. Everybody, is the area of a rectangle made up of the length? Is the length included in that formula? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm gonna write this in red here. Use this to find the length. Use the extra info, write this down. Use the extra info to find what you need. Again, don't just look at a problem and hope that the numbers there all work. No, confirm that they work. It's not about what the numbers are, it's about what the numbers mean. Here we have the area. Would someone be so kind and give me the formula for the area of a rectangle in the chat box? Please do. Give me the whole thing. Area equals what? Theory, thank you. And you gave me the, the converse there to find the length by itself. I appreciate that. Thank you. But yeah, that's going to be area equals length times width. So let me write that formula down right here for you. And again, this is specifically for a rectangle. We have length times width. My party people, we know what the area is. It's 15. We know what the width is. Everybody, what's the width again? Hit me. Yeah, that width is going to be three. Excellent. It's clear to see those of you participating, you're going to be doing so well. Yes, that's going to be three. So we'll have ourselves the length times three. And if you just read that like a regular old sentence in English, my party people, what times three is 15? Now, you don't even need to think backwards for this problem. It's, it's, it's right there in your face. 15 equals some number L times three. Five times three is 15. Boom. L is five. L equals five. So you can look at it like that, or remember that you can think about it as working backwards. If you divide the three away, if you take the three out by dividing it on both sides, you'll have 15 divided by three, which is five, and you'll have the L by itself. But there it is. We've got what we needed. We have everything we need. Is the answer gonna be five, everybody? Are we gonna circle this right there and say that we're done? No. That's another common mistake that people make. The moment that they calculate anything, they think that if they see that number in the answers, hey, that's gonna be a great day. No. Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely already been to one of my classes. And if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. We got to make sure we know exactly what we're doing. So remember that the beginning of the problem said find the perimeter. And so with that, here we go. Perimeter equals our length again was five. So let's write that down right there. So we have two times five plus two times three, all I'm doing here at this step is plugging in what I have into the formula that I said I needed to complete from the very get-go. We're here. At this point, we've plugged in, do the math, and now we can affirm and guarantee that we're done. Before I even do the solution of the calculation, are we in agreement here? We have got to make sure that we know that what we're calculating will give us the answer. If not, we need to make sense of it somehow because it'll get you out of this trap right here thinking that five is the answer. So here we go. Perimeter equals two times five, which is going to be 10. Two times three, which is going to be six. My party people, what's 10 plus six? 16, right on. And there we go. That's gonna be 16 feet. Again, perimeter is just distance, just going distance around. So it's just regular old feet. And so bam, there's your final answer. And for those of you that were able to show your work in that way, congratulations to you. 
And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.